All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to our uh, kind of sporadic series that we still haven't come up with a good name for, but we're uh, taking Caleb Grace's suggestion for uh, a new way of playing the game with the Daybreak and Nightfall um, objective from Wastes of Eridor and playing through some of the earlier quests with it. And today we're up against Journey Along the Anduin. We'll see how the Hill Troll deals with uh, <clears throat> Daybreak. <laughs> As always, I'm Amitson. And I'm Grant Thompson, just along for the ride. And so I guess let's uh, talk about our decks. Grant, uh, I think we've seen what you're running before, but... Yeah, I'm running my... Outlands Grey Wanderer contract deck. So I am only able to run with Tailwind <coughs> up there, but I have a smattering of Outlands allies to try and swarm the board and just get the overpoweredness of Outlands into play as quick as possible. <laughs> and I'm running a, a deck I call Aid of Orthanc. It's a, a Theodred, Grima, Gladrill deck, and my goal is to build up the Orthanc guard here to be a passable uh, defender. Um, and, well, yeah, that's really what it is. We'll see how well it works today, so... I like yeah, my I, opening hand. I never understood why the Orthanc guard never had the warrior trait. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it, just it, having the warrior trait, and now with the modern card pool, it's a fine card. Well, yeah, because if you just attach... With the warrior trait, you could attach Halberg of Neil onto him, and he's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, he's it's not Sentinel, but... Three. Uh, but, yeah, I know what you mean. If I need a 3-2 for the cost of 3, it's not a bad card. <laughs> and that repeatable readying. That's, that's useful, but... Alas, it was not to be. Although... Maybe something... That's maybe it. something... Maybe it's something we can address in another series. <laughs> <laughs> what? Would we have a series like that, Grant? Well, I don't know. You tell me. I think it was Ancient Mothams? <laughs> oh, I, I guess. Oh, wait. I don't pull a hill troll yet. First, we reveal two cards. Well, first of all, I'm going to take a mulligan. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, that is definitely a better opening hand. <laughs> That is, I'll agree with that. That is a much better opening hand. All right. So uh, number one is an evil storm. Yep. Can't say I'm sad to see that go. Card number two is the brown lands. Can't say I'm super happy about that. Then I get straight up thanks to my contract. Shuffle <coughs> and. Oh. And there's our hill troll. All right. So six threatened stage in area. Looks like it. So I guess let's go ahead and uh, get started. Okay. Well, I'm um, gonna raise my threat by one to add two resources. Are you wanting to play? Are you? Are you wanting to play your deep knowledge, bud? I am, but if I can, I'd like to wait and get out maybe the Sizengard Messenger first. Okay, that's not a problem. I've got things I can't play prior, so I'm going to spend two straight away and just drop out two resources for the cost of two, <laughs> one each. So that can add two extra resources. And I'm thinking a timely aid. I'm thinking so. Best get it out of the way now before uh, I uh, pull you out of secrecy. Okay. Well, that's a hard choice. I have a warden of healing, four long, send for aid, another four long, and a knight of sworn. I think I'm going four long. Yeah, he's probably the best call here. Although the Knights of the Swan would get as close at a four longs ability. <laughs> True enough. Alright. Okay, and that's me done. I have no resources left. <laughs> uh, 
That's unfortunate, but it is what it is sometimes. All right, I am going to use Galadriel's ability on myself to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Wild talent, it's not bad. I'm now going to use Grima's ability. Doom one. Spend a resource. Play the Isengard Messenger. Unfortunately, I do not believe that he gains plus one willpower from the Doomed One Grima used to play him. Alright, so that's Doomed One from Grima. And then I'll uh, play Deep Knowledge. Actually, now I'll just play it now because he gets that willpower boost till the end of the round. Ooh, very excellent. And that is a sneak attack Gandalf in the opening hand. Well, not the opening hand, but you know, close enough. Alright. Ready to quest? I actually yep. think at the start of the round I will sneak attack in Gandalf to, uh... Do I draw three cards or drop my th threat by five? Well, you're at 28, and two, if we don't get any threat raises, you'll be engaged in a hill call in two turns. That's true. I do have Galadriel, so that's a thing. Um, you know what? I'm going to draw three cards. I'm going to risk it, and I'll get Gandalf back into... Ooh, Ancestral Armor. Okay, I'll take that. Thedred, resource on himself, Grima, the Isengard Messenger, and Gandalf. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got nine. And I've got four. Thirteen against six. That seems like good odds for this quest. Yep. Card number one. Oh, that's perfect. And number two is a Misty Mountain Goblin. So we make five progress. Let's travel to the Brown Lands, which clears it. And we don't have to engage those goblins if we don't have to. Since we can't kill them, I say we don't. Okay. I mean, I'm open to if you feel differently, but that's kind of where I'm thinking. I agree. I mean, it makes no difference. You know what I mean? They can't do They'll do one damage to me because I'm only defending for one at the minute. And there's no real point of doing it, you know what I mean, if we don't have to. Sure. Alright, at the end of the round, we flip this objective, um, revealing an encounter card. Okay. That's going to be interesting. Okay. Well, I will play out double back right now. Um, okay, I will use Gladriel to draw a card and drop my threat by one. Okay, that's interesting. Spend a resource to put Keys of Orthanc on Galadriel. I think is the right call here. And I'm going to go Doomed 1. This is okay. risky, I know. Isengard Messenger is up to his willpower, though. Um, which will give Galadriel a resource. And what I am playing is the Orthanc Guard. And then I will spend two to play out a wild stallion, use the stallion's planning action to attach it to the Orthanc Guard. Um, so he's now got stats like that. Okay, well I'm going to raise me for by an additional one, and add two resources to the other one. And then I'm going to take one, two, three, four resources. Dropping out a Hunter of Lamadon, 
it is not enough. Uh, does it have to be an Outland ally or is it just an Outland card? Just an Outland card, so I'll get to take that as we can. I will then drop out a Warrior of Lost North. I will spend one more for my Knights of the Swan. Now, Very what's nice. The, now, what's the chances of us getting an Epia Swordsman? Um. Hard to guess. Actually, not hard at all. 3 out of 39, so 1 in 13. Okay, so I've got a 1 in 13 chance of getting well, all four of land on the board. Actually, probably 5 in 13. Actually, the, the probability itself, the, the calculation probably gets more complicated than that. But with 5 cards and a 1 in 13 chance of any one of them being an Ethereum Swordsman. Okay, well, I think that's good enough odds for me. No, no. <laughs> okay. So I will exhaust four long and the Hunter of Lamadon. So that's five cards that I get to pull out. Okay. Amphilus Herdsman. Ekia Swordsman. There he is. Sneak Attack. Four long. And Deer and Druins. Well, I guess I know what I'm picking. <laughs> yep. And now that I've got all four outland types on the board, four long readies. <laughs> At the beginning of each phase. Goodness well, um, gracious. Seems I've now got six allies, I have to use the willpower bonus from Stride Up, but I do have an Ekia Swordsman, so not all is lost. <laughs> yeah. And now all my outland characters that I have at least cost two have twos across the board. Excellent. Excellent, I think. Alright. The real question is what are the odds that we'll have to engage the hill troll this round? Uh unlikely if you can drop your threat. <laughs> well, we can't put progress on that side quest, but... Oh, well, this is going to get tricky. We'll see what happens. Okay, questing. I've got one. Theodred will do a resource to himself. Um, there we go. About two three with the messenger who exhausts this turn shouldn't have last turn I've got five with the Urthank guard who does not exhaust the quest this turn I could do more with Grima but I'm going to leave him up as a backup defender okay well let's see what do I have let's see I have two four five six now I've got two defenders with Halloween and Warrior. So that's what, 11 against 5? Yep. Um, do you count Forlong in that? Because he readies at the start oh. of the phase. No, I didn't. So there's an extra two more. So 2, 4, 6. Okay. And 10 from me. 13 against 5. I feel fine about that. Okay, we're not going to raise our quite by the threat by questing unsuccessfully. Might have to raise our threat um, from a, a treachery, but we'll see. Card number one, that is a whiff. And card number two is Chieftain Uftak. Ah, oh, my little friend. <laughs> so we make no progress because it's night. Mm-hmm. And the only things that are coming down are the Warg and the Goblin. Okay. I can defend the Warg without taking damage, and you can defend no. the Goblin and kill it, so... I can kill it? Oh yeah, because I've got four long any ready. <laughs> yep. So, I guess I'll block with my Orthanc Guard here. Nothing. And it's nice to see that treachery go. Amen. And I will defend with the warrior. Okay. 
plus one attack. Deals one damage. Yeah. Um, the wargs went back to the staging area because they didn't have a shadow effect. And Hurla wouldn't pull along attack a whole goblin. The goblin pulled a um, progress off the quest. It is now daybreak. All the enemies go back to the staging area, and I believe it is your turn. Yep, so let's start this off. Ooh, another FPS swordsman. Ooh. One, two, and there we go. <coughs> I think our questing is going to be sorted for a while. I think our questing is going to be sorted all game now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Yeah, and I don't think there's anything else I can do this round. Okay. So, I think there's only four on in the Discord. Yeah. Not really supposed to bring them out. So, yeah, that's me done, unless you've got card drop. I mean, I could toss Galadriel your way, but I'm still digging for... Honestly, I'm digging for Elven Light, so... That's fine. I'll, uh... See if I can draw... I found a test of will. That's good. Okay, um... In that case, I'm just gonna Doom 1 again. And play out my Ancestral Armor. And now that Orthanc Guard is a uh, five defense, you know, just in case anybody cares. <laughs> and I'll play that Protector of Lorien right there. The Keys of Orthanc triggered. I could play out a, a Rider of Rohan this turn, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save up for a Test of Will. That's fine. So, questing then. Yeah. Well, I've got 12. Unless you think I need to send more. Nah, probably not. Um, I'll send three. <laughs> Tossing the resource on to Grima, because something tells me Hero Lewin does not need it. Well, Hurlum could always use the resource. <laughs> <laughs> Until he can't. <laughs> right. Okay. Shall we quest on double back? I think that would be a good idea. You're 30 threat, of, and we'll engage in the hill troll next round if we don't. Sure. So. Okay, so I got five. You got 13, you said? Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve, sorry. So, 17 between us against 5 in staging. Card number 1, Gladden Fields, that's fine. Card number 2, Pursued by Shadow. I think that's oh, cancelled. I should have sent my Isengard Messenger. I forgot that, sorry. And that'll raise my threat by 2 and your threat by a lot. It I think that's my worse threat. Th it would raise my threat by 4. How game breaking is that for you? Mm, not very, because we'd drop more threat by five. Yeah. Double back. So it would raise by four, and then I just basically essentially lose one threat. <laughs> if you're okay with that trade, I'd rather yeah. save the test of will for something like uh, Necromancer's Reach. There you go, I've just dropped me threat by one, because obviously we're going to go up by four and then clear yeah, double back. I've already done the map, we'll play at it. Sure. Good enough, so that puts me down to 27. We make 11 progress, we clear it, we drop our threat by 5. Yep. Um, honestly, with our questing numbers, I don't see that we ever go to Gladden Fields. Agreed. Alright. Can we kill something? Let's see, I have 6 attack power on the board. 
So essentially, yes, we could, but we don't have the defense there to kill, kill it. Right. And it's not exactly like your. Well, actually, let's see. I've got. How much does he take? He takes nine to kill. And he attacks for three. So I defend with four long. And then I've got two, four, six, eight. I'm one shy of killing Utak. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Okay. Yeah. So how about you just take that warg and we'll see what happens? Okay. Maybe I'll defend with Hirluin because you could heal him up for your second. Uh... True. Oh, actually, I didn't think about that. If we left the warg up there, you could defend with Hirluin and ready with your contract. Oh, true, and I could kill Utak. Want to do that instead of the wargs? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Alright, Earth attack. Ooh. Okay, attacking for four. So that's two damage. I will then use the contracts for both the two damage. And ready. And that raises my first by one. And then I attack for two, four, six, eight, ten. Earth attack gets his resource. Much good it will do him. Exactly. All right. That's not half bad. Ooh, hey, I got an unexpected courage. Um. This is slightly unfortunate. What am I going to do with this? What are you going to do with what? Who knows? Well, I'd definitely say play out the rider. You can attack, you can attack power and you quest. Yep. I'm going to do Doomed 1 to get a resource on Galadriel. Pay out the rider for 2. And you know what? This is going to be slightly risky. I'm going to put out the second rider. I now have four attack on the board. I would have said Wild Stallion, and um, that leaves you a, a oh, test of world three, and it gives you um, plus one on your stats of your um, rider. That's a good call. I'm only. I saved the resource for a test of will, and I'm only one willpower and only one attack short of what I would have been otherwise. Yep, and then next round you can get out your second rider. Right. If needed. <laughs> and I'm going to retcon that I uh, played out the Isengard Messenger first so that he could get his stat boost from my Doomed. Yep. Okay, so let's have a look what I want to do. Well, I'm going to play Dealing Druids. It's the first card of the turn that does not require a resolve master if it's non unique. Okay. That gets to this. That next is a sneak, sneak attack and a hunter of Lamadar. I wonder what you discard. <laughs> I'm discarding a Men of the West. <laughs> um, I will spend two resources to play out the second Hunter of Lamadon. Okay. Draw a card with it. And it's Gandalf, sadly, he gets discarded. It is unfortunate, but, you know, what can you do? Yep, and that's me done. All right. Uh, in the quest phase, I am going to spend. Is it? Uh oh. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. I wasn't sure if it was you that disconnected on me, but it looks like. Well, this will make for gripping uh, YouTube video. Yeah, but I'm, is it saying that I'm disconnected, or you are? I'm oh. I'm on. It's It says I'm waiting for you. Okay, I'm wondering why I'm disconnected, because I still have internet. I still have internet access. My internet has not gone down, as evidenced by our uh, continued ability to talk together. 
Yeah, but that's the thing. If I, I don't know why it's kicked us from the game, because of the fact I'm still on talking to you. I'm not going through my phone, I'm on my computer. <laughs> right. Hmm. There we go. I'm back. Oh, wonderful. Okay. I'll so, just cut that out during editing. Yeah, so did I just spend the... No, I was talking about spending the one plus sneak attack and going three tasks. Do you think it's worth us getting rid of the warg instead? Nah, we can handle the warg. Okay, well... I think I'll wait until after questing to see whether it's worth sneak attacking Gandalf. Okay. Sure. Okay, so two... You know what? I'm going to leave Thedrid up. I don't need the resource. Or if I needed the resource, it'd be on Galadriel. Um, and his two attack could be useful. Okay, so I'll send three, six, nine, twelve... And I've got six. I've got fifteen. Okay, so twenty-one against six. There's card one. Oh no, it's twenty-one against nine now. And card number two. Ooh, Dogolder orcs. One character takes two damage. I'll take that. Okay. That seems fine by me. So we uh, make ten progress. Um, all optional the wargs if you want to take the orcs. Yeah, can do. Or we could do vice versa, but I have the defense for the wargs. You have the defense for. And I now have finally the attack for it, assuming that they stay down, which they don't, of course. Okay, and I will defend with the Hunter of Lamadon. Okay. Nothing. I will then attack with my army. Oh no, whatever shall we do? And then I am going to exhaust the contract to add two resources and heal off the three damage. Okay, I'm going to exhaust Galadriel to reduce my threat by one and draw a card. Okay. Um, it is now nightfall. So we reveal an extra card. Right. Did we, did we get off, uh, off the pattern? Despair. We lose. A couple. I feel like I feel like we're slightly off, but oh well, life goes on. What do you mean? Like I feel like it should be. It's turn five, so it should be daybreak because turn one was daybreak. Did we forget to do it one round? I suppose it's possible, but you know, our fans will call it out and post. Yep. Okay, so let's see, what do I want to do? I'm going to spend one for a second and plus herdsman. Okay. Because you never have too many hit points. <laughs> Seems uh, fine by me. And that's me done. Alright. Now, how much could you attack could you save this turn? Uh, attack I could save? Yeah, right. Just leave out of the quest. Well, let's see. How much we've got in there? We have three, six in the staging area. So, essentially, if I wasn't to quest all out, I could send six. I see I could send... 10 without hurting my attack too much. Okay, could you save up 12 attack to kill a hill troll? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Well, let's see. 2, 
Because I'm thinking if we sneak attack Gandalf, Gandalf could defend the hill troll and if you could kill it. I could essentially send 12, but I would only be questing for 5, 7, 9, I'd be questing for. Okay. 9 plus 3 is 12. 15, actually, because I've got, I've got the other one that aren't so long already and don't exhaust, so I'll be sending 15, so yeah, I can do that. Okay, let's plan on that then. I'll do doomed one. My apologies to your threat dial. I'll play out a second rider of Rohan. You're trolling me. <laughs> Stop trolling me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh whoops. Um give Galadriel resource. I can now play Nenya on her. Um, although, in retrospect, I think I'll just do it from Thedrid, because I don't... I can't imagine I have that many more leadership cards sitting in my deck waiting to be played. Um, although, again, in retrospect, I have even fewer lore cards. So, that's where we're at. I could really troll you and play Saruman, but I'm not going to. I wouldn't recommend it, my friend. <laughs> okay, I've got six and can add four with Galadriel. No, I've got six, seven, eight, nine. I've got eleven. Three, six, nine, eleven, thirteen, sixteen. Okay, so twenty-six against six in staging. I think we're pretty solid here. Yep. Card one's a Beastmaster. Card two's Banks of the Anduin. We make some ridiculous amount of progress that I think at this point I don't care about. Oh, we make no progress because it's Nightfall. Yep. So there's uh, the banks of the Anduin we're traveling to. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Um, you want Galadriel's card draw and threat reduction? I, I wouldn't say no. Go ahead, take it. Thank you, and now I will spend one for timely aid. <laughs> oh, hey, look, another FTR swordsman. And <laughs> willpower is definitely not a problem. <laughs> Alright, um. I can kill it, so I'll optional that Beastmaster. Um. Oh. Yeah, and then, well, if you optional the Beastmaster... Oh, then, then somebody's got to take the wargs. Yeah. Fine, I'll take the wargs. And maybe kill them. And maybe not, you know. Little schizophrenic, uh... Unless you wanted to nuke them with Gandalf, but I assume you'd rather, uh, draw I'm cards. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm wanting to do. So I will play sneak attack with Gandalf... And cross cards. And then down off the friends. Okay. Oh no, we remove a progress token from the quest. And the Orthanc Guard defends. And true to form, those wargs go back up. And my combat power sits here doing nothing. Okay, well, you while, have. While my outline is just body everything, is that what you're saying? <laughs> typical, typical. There you go. My outline destroyed the hill troll. All right, we oh. immediately advance the quest. It is now daybreak. We can make progress, and enemies will not engage us. Not that they were going to engage us, anyways. Well, at the end, before that, that FTS orphan didn't need to be exhausted and needed it to fall on because he readies in the resort refresh. Ah, you get a very good tail it? Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> why not? 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, there's another lost warrior of lost not, and make for the swan on the board. All right. It's a shame to see Lord of Morthon go, but at this point, with um, all my nearly all my outland allies out in play, not really much. Yep. Oh, there's my steward of war tank. Um. Oh, I guess I'm first player. I'm gonna doomed one. Because if nothing else, it keeps my uh, Isengard messenger in business. There's my steward of war tank. It also gives Gladriel a resource. Gonna play out unexpected courage on her. Now I'll exhaust her to reduce my threat by one and draw a card. Ooh, it's another steward. <clears throat> but no worries. Over to you. Ridiculous amount of allies. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <coughs> so, what do I want to play? Well, since I'm a 22 threat, I don't. I'm no longer in secrecy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the contract, raise me threat by two, adding two resources. I am then going to spend all five resources for Gandalf. All right. And then I want to drop me for a five five. <laughs> All right. So I'll put that into secrecy so next round I can pull out resourceful if you don't doom us again. <laughs> oh, I'll doom us again, but you play first. You play cards first, so. Oh, well, that's all good then. <laughs> okay, your turn. Yeah, all right. Thing. I've got. Hey, I'll leave Thad right up. Combat, don't you know? Two, four, six, eight. Who doesn't exhaust the quest? Those two do. So two, four, just six. Out, just one question: What combat? <laughs> uh, the one from the enemies were optionally engaging, of course. All right. Um, but yes, I I know what you mean. I've got eleven, and I can add four with Galadriel. No, I have 13. And there's 7 in staging. And I don't want to hear what unearthly number you're coming up with. You don't want to hear what unearthly number I'm coming up with, do you not? Oh, fine, I'll hear it. Thirty-two. Okay, so between us, that's forty-five, <laughs> is it? About that. Okay. There's card one. Dol Guldur orcs. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? And card number two. Oh. Oh, that one's actually... Not fun. I mean, it only hits me for two, but you're going to take a threat raise of what? Six. Six. I have two tests of wills left. I'll cancel it. I am going to do doomed one from the steward of war tank, though, to draw a card. God damn it. <laughs> hey, you're going to still be at 20 <laughs> next round. <laughs> so, uh, 36, that is. And that means we progress. That's three... Uh, plus 16, plus another uh, 17, I think. We end up with 33 progress. We clear the banks of the Anduin, which goes back on top of the encounter deck. And here we go. Advance to quest stage 3. 
Reveal two encounter cards per player. Um, Come on, be four locations. <laughs> Come on. My computer is being slow, I guess. Alright, try this again. Oh. There it is. I was using the wrong keyboard shortcut. Uh... Well, okay. Oh. Um, let me just resolve that real quick. There's the Wolf Rider, who surges. That was all card three. Here's card four. Okay, so that's not too bad. If we cancel that test, that um, Necromancer's Reach, which I'm guessing you did. I did not cancel the Necromancer's Reach because I spent my resource on uh, the the threat one. Alright, uh, okay, so we I need to add damage to all my adult characters. Yeah, sorry about that. Seven damage I added. Ouch. True enough. Okay, but luckily enough, we just got a smattering of enemies to take, and we can do this over two rounds, so we're all okay. All optional, the Beastmaster, you pick what you want. I'll take the Wolf Rider. Alright. I'm quite surprised you didn't want to take the Warg. You've got a, de a vendetta against it. <laughs> I do have a vendetta against it, but it's just going to go back to the staging area anyways, so I have plans. Alright, I guess I'm first player, so I'll block with the Orthanc Guard. Okay. Nothing. I will block with a Warrior of Lachanark. Nothing. And three, four, five, six, seven is enough to and, kill the Beastmaster. And the other one will help secure the Beastmaster, just because he can. <laughs> of course. Uh, two, four, six, eight. 12 attack to kill the Wolf Rider. Daniel. Okay. It becomes Nightfall. We reveal an encounter card. Oh. Um, although I believe this is in the refresh phase. Or at the end of the round, which is even later than the refresh phase. So we take two more cards. Neither of which are enemies. And neither of which causes any problems. Correct. Uh, we forgot to travel to a location. I don't think we need to. <laughs> no, no, I, I can't imagine that we do. Alright. Oh, hey, I'll pay two resources. Oh, there she is. Oh, are you getting what I think you're getting? I don't know what would not have Hang on, I didn't get all my resources. I should have had three. That would have been two. I've got one left, so I can't play this secondary resourceful. Not that it matters. This third resourceful. Not that it matters. <laughs> a bit redundant at this point. Alright. Then I'm going to use the Warden of Healing to... Heal up Grima and um, oh, the warrior of Lock and then I'm going to use my contract to heal up two damage and it doesn't allow me to draw a card. That's a bit of a but I will put the two more resources back. Seems good to me. I. We'll uh, use Gladrill on myself. I drew the keys of Orthanc. That's unfortunate. I will do Doomed One with Grima on and use Gladrill's resource. Getting a resource back with the keys of Orthanc. And now I have Arwen. Which means, you know, next turn once she can exhaust, 
the Orthanc Guard will be 6 Defense and Sentinel. But, not that it's going to matter, because, uh... You know, I could do this the cheap and easy way with Gandalf, but... I want to do it the fun and interesting way. So, uh, out comes Saruman. Doomed 3, everybody. And those wargs are out of play till the end of the round. Okay. That, that, that's all I got. Okay, so you just played Saruman, so that's two, 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 three, right? Anything else that needs to be done? No, I don't think so. That's quest. Okay. I've got 18. Which exactly matches the staging area's threat, so, you know. And I've got that many, however much that is. <laughs> Good I'll enough for me. We don't even have to reveal anything, so we pass. I'll exhaust Galadriel and Nenya, because we obviously need four more. There's... I'll take the orcs, or you can take the orcs. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll let you do it since you haven't done much combat this round. <laughs> Alright, I'll block with the Orthanc Guard. Oh no. Plus one attack, whatever shall we do? Saruman has five attack, and he's enough on his own. And uh, those are wargs that are out of play. There are no enemies in play. I believe, Grant, that we have won the game. I believe you are correct. Well, how do you feel about it? Well, that was definitely a fun game. That Nightfall really kind of... Uh... Changes things a little bit. Yes, definitely. But it makes it more interesting. I mean, I think we just forgot it one round. That's how it's ended up on Nightfall on turn seven. Yeah. But I don't think that necessarily changed too much. Because, obviously, between we had enough power on the board to deal with it. Agreed. Alright, now let's see what else I had in my deck. I did have more threat reduction. There's three copies of Elrond's Council in here. And there's my Elven Lights. And there's the rest of my Deep Knowledges. And I even have a couple copies of Word of Command. I forgot about that. I like this deck. Fair enough. I had a, another copy of the Warrior of Lossanoff, and a Hunter of Lamadon, and another Amphilus Spiritsman in my deck. I on, do I have all three Knights of the Swan out? One. Should, Doesn't look like it. Got, I should have enough there. I've got it in there. Hiding. So yeah, I've got like two, three, four Outlands characters left in my deck that I hadn't hit the board by the end of the game. That's not half bad. Seven turns in and I've got an army on the field? No, that's not bad at all. <laughs> I seem to remember once upon a time I had Treebeard in this deck. Oh, there he is. Looks like he's just a little cheeky one of. Nope, there's two of them. Yeah, two copies of Tree Beer. That'll, that gives this deck a little bit of combat power. That it might not otherwise have. Although, honestly, sneak attacking in Saruman for five attacking, getting an enemy out of the staging area for a little while is not a bad idea. But, 
anyways, that was the game. These were the decks. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back for one try. I will only guarantee one try on Escape from Dol Guldur. Um, and honestly, that's only if I can, can convince Grant to do it with me. <laughs> No guarantees. <laughs> All right. But we will be back to do Escape from Gold Gulder um, at least once. No guarantees after that, but we do want to finish the core set, at least with this. Anyways, thanks for watching, and until we meet again, happy questing.